Welcome to See the Invisible Stuff. That's the name of the channel. Spell just like that. If you like a video, like a video, and subscribe. What I want to talk about is street knowledge. Right? Stuff that people learn in the streets. Stuff that the streets stamp. Uh, rules of the streets. St guidelines of the streets. The do's, the, the stuff that the streets say is a go or uh, is not a go or whatever. Rules of the streets, basically. First of all, anybody who know me knew I wasn't ever in the streets, didn't ever want to be in the streets, didn't ever try to act like I was in the streets. So I just want to make that clear before this video even start. Now, you know, did I start off in, you know, an area that was, you know, heavy in crime, heavy in drugs, the hood? Yeah. Did I go to school there? Yeah. Do I have family members there? Yeah. Even the area once we moved out of the hood, it started turning into the hood. And, and, that environment was like the hood, like the environment of the hood. So, I just want to make that clear before I make this video. Not a street dude, but yes, I was in those environments and lived in those environments and the school in those environments. So, yeah. And you don't have to be in the streets for some of the rules and codes of the streets to rub off on you. That's all you have to just be around uh, that environment, uh, around, you know, certain people. Uh, the social climate can be conducive to following certain rules and guidelines of the streets, whether you're in them or not, because that environment is street heavy. So I just want to talk about a little something, a time where I was really willing to throw away a lot, because street rules, street ethics had rubbed off on me to the point where, like, I, I was standing, I, I, I was in it. I was like, you know what? This is how I'm going to handle this situation. Now, at the time, I wasn't looking at it like, okay, that's how the streets they handle a situation. I, I just already was groomed in certain environments, and without thinking twice about it, the rules of the streets rubbed off on me, even though I wasn't even in the streets. Okay, let me tell you what happened, right? I had this job. First of all, this was a job when people asked me, was I still working at this job? I would say, yeah, I'm, of course I'm still working there. I'm going to work there until I'm, I, I'm, I'm 65. I'm going to retire from this place. Because, you know, the, it, I had, it had benefits. You had medical. You had dental. You had vacation time. You had sick time. Uh, you, I was able to move up kind of quick. I moved up uh, within, like, less than a year. And I had a chance to move up again. Overtime was... Given on a regular enough basis, if you want to take advantage of that, so this I'm like, yeah, this I can I can be here, you know this, uh, you know I, I'll be here. This 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 is a nice little job for me to have, right? But I had a situation with somebody at the job, right? You know me me and the guy, you know, kind of had words, and instead of going to the now, this is a job that I say I can see myself retiring from. So my this I'm thinking the long game. Instead of, you know, handling the situation like, man, let me go talk to the supervisor, let him know, hey, I, look, I got a situation here, I'm not trying to mess that up, I'm letting you know in advance, you know, if you feel like, you know, I need to be moved here, then he needs to be moved here, or whatever, you know, the way that you should work it out when you're trying to keep your job that you say you can picture yourself doing for the long haul. Even if you can't picture yourself doing it for the long haul, that's still the way you go about handling it, you at you work. I actually told myself, I thought about that route, and told myself, man, what I look like going to the supervisor? If I got a problem with him, I'm going to handle it myself. I was, it got to the point where, I'm, I'll speed it up, make a long story short. It got to the point where I willingly had no problem with asking him to fight at book, right, like right there at book. Took the shirt off, threw it to, put your hands up, like, at work, at a job that I agreed that I wanted, I like, benefits, everything. Really willing to say, forget all that. Could it's, you know, stack money, start getting your house, you know, this and that, start a fam. You can, you can do this with this, you know, I could have did that with this job. Because of the, the, the residue of, of the street knowledge that rubbed off on me from going to certain schools I went to, going in certain environments, I mean, growing up, you know, in certain environments that I grew up in, and even when I got out of that environment, the, the, the atmosphere that I started being in was still conducive to it after a while. That residue, 
even though I wasn't in the streets, rubbed off on me to the point where I was actually willing to throw that job away for some type of street principle. And uh, uh, something about street principles and street rules and you can't really up uh, these that that I'ma handle it with these or in some cases some people pick up their gun and their knife or whatever when you got a situation. What what else can you apply to that? That's only in the streets. You do that anywhere. You get fired from your job. Thank goodness the dude didn't fire me from the job. The supervisor was a cool. He pulled me to the side. Hey, man, this and that, that's and so, you know. He squashed it. Hey, I was able to keep the job. But, stop, look. Stop governing yourself with street rules. If you're in the streets, you should get out. Look, stop falling the victim to... Uh, the rules of, 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 of the street, street knowledge, that residue. Even if you around that environment, with the school in that environment, but you got to say, hold up. Look, that's a street thing. That's, that's what that is, right? You can't, you can't apply that nowhere else. You can't say, I'm going to fight this dude at work. You mess around and get fired. You mess around and go to jail. That junk only apply for the streets. Don't let that... That, that, that residue creep over into your real, actual, everyday life. Because life way bigger than this, this, this. Let's keep it all the way real, right? That code, how did that code even get created, right? It got created because people grew up in a certain environment, was, in a, was around certain people, was dealt certain hands in life to where they start handling things a certain way. And a, a whole lifestyle developed out of handling things a certain way. And then that's, now, now you got the streets. Now you got street codes. Now you got street rules, street ethics. It's something that shouldn't even exist because nobody should really be in the streets anyway. Ain't nothing good happening in the streets. Ain't nothing productive, positive. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing good going to come from it. So it's something that shouldn't be anyway. And you can start governing how you deal with things, how you handle situations based off something that shouldn't even exist in the first place and ain't going to help you or can't benefit you in no way, shape, or form unless you're in the streets, which you ain't supposed to be in the first place. So just be mindful not to fall victim to street knowledge, especially if you're not in the streets. It don't apply to you. You don't have to go by, check yourself. You might have already been around it so much that it started kind of like becoming a part of you. Like in this instance, it did with, with me. I wasn't in the streets, but I thought that that's how the situation should be handled. I didn't think about it like that back then. I didn't think, man, this is some street. This, this, it's not how you really handle something in real life. This is this how you handle something in the streets. I'm not in the streets. I wasn't thinking like that. The residue just rubbed off on me, bang. Before you know it, I was handling a everyday real life situation like it's the streets. I ain't the only one. I know other people did it and probably still doing it, but check yourself, you know? You ain't got to worry about what nobody else be think about you or you know, if you handle somebody would have what for somebody would have clowned me for handling it the right way, for keeping my job. Keeping my benefits, having a job that I can stack money, do things with my life. Come on. If somebody going to clown you or look at you, first of all, you got to be secure enough with yourself to do what's best for yourself. And the streets are handling it the way the streets say handling it ain't what's best for you. So that's that. And so what? If somebody think, whatever somebody think is their business, this your life, handling the situation the way it's supposed to be handled. Be a productive Citizen, the, the, the ways of the streets ain't going to help you to do that. It, it's not. And I know I said it before, I'm going to say it again. Man, if you're not even in this, don't go by the street rules. They don't apply to you. Be your own man, your own woman. Don't care about what nobody thinks. Do what's best for yourself. Handle the situation the way God wants you to handle the situation. That's how a situation should be handled anyway.